want to thank you, General, and thank your family for your service to our country. I wanted to follow up on one of your, the answers to your advanced policy questions, and you were asked, what are the most serious strategic threats facing the United States today? And among your answers, you mentioned the increasingly provocative and destabilizing behavior by potential adversaries like Iran. Uh, what I wanted to ask you is, why do you believe that there's significant concern about uh, the adversary of Iran, and also wanted to hear your opinion about the impact of their pursuit of their ballistic missile program, which they have done quite aggressively, even post-JCPOA? Uh, yes, Senators. So I think uh, you, you answered, you provided part of the answer when you started talking about the ballistic missile program. But I think there's three elements that uh, concern me about Iran in the last year. Element number one is they continue to be the foremost state sponsor of terrorism in the world. Uh, that, that should be enough to cause the, the nation concern. Second is their continuing pursuit of new ballistic missile program and testing ballistic missiles over the last uh, couple of years. And then third, a statement uh, after one of the tests early in March this year by um, a member of the Iranian military that said, we're building this capability to uh, threaten Israel. So you put those three statements together uh, and you look at the technology they're pursuing, that's why I'm concerned about Iran. And uh, their ballistic missile program, um, from what I hear from your testimony, you believe this is a real threat to Israel. Um, is that true? Uh, they stated that it's a threat to Israel. And what about, though, also even um, our forward deployed troops uh, in the European area and also our European allies? I assume it represents a threat to us as well. It does. And uh, would you agree with what DNI Clapper has said when he's repeatedly testified that Tehran would choose ballistic missiles as its preferred method of delivering nuclear weapons? I, I agree with that. And so I think we also need to focus on making our own homeland when it comes to their testing and development of ballistic missiles. Would you agree with that? I, I think that has to be part of our missile defense. I believe that's the missile defense architecture in the Pacific, and it needs to be in the Atlantic as well. And when we look at um, their even most, I mean, they, they've been even post-JCPOA agreement testing ballistic missiles on multiple occasions. Uh, do you believe that their activities are inconsistent with the UN Security Resolution 2231, which calls upon Iran not to undertake any activity related to ballistic missiles designed to be capable of delivering nuclear weapons, including launches using such ballistic missile technology? Uh, that's more a policy question, but from a military perspective, uh, I find that kind of behavior extremely destabilizing and threatening. So how are we going to address their testing issue? Um, what do you see your role in your command and ways that we should be uh, more aggressively pushing back on Iran on something of deep concern to us and our allies? So again, Senator, I think uh, a lot of that question is for the political realm. Uh, my job is to, if I'm confirmed as commander of STRATCOM, would be to provide military advice mm -hmm. to the president, military advice uh, if asked by this Congress. Uh, I think you're asking for my military advice. My military advice is that we always have to make sure that our capabilities to respond to an Iranian threat are visible, powerful, and ensure, into the deterrent discussion we had a while ago, that no adversary that would want to take us on will, uh, at least they will think twice and reconsider their actions before they do that. That's the job of the commander, U.S. Strategic Command, and I've confirmed I'll take that very seriously. Thank you, General. And in the political realm, I would hope um, I've introduced legislation to impose uh, real sanctions on Iran for their ballistic missile program, and I've been very disappointed that the administration is, from my perspective, pretty much ignoring um, their testing of ballistic missiles. Um, I